Hello and welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we try the Tipperary homegrown barley, which is a bit strange because I got this bottle uh, as, yeah, this is the Tipperary homegrown barley. And if you look at the label and everything, it doesn't say anywhere homegrown barley, like as a brand name. And um, at the bottom we have a nice sentence that clarifies it and it says from barley grown in a single field on our farm. This is a Irish whiskey distillery that also is a little bit of a farm. So kind of the typical old style um, yeah, farm distillery. Back in the days uh, it was customary, you know, you've grown your crops and you've sold and then people didn't want to buy more so you had to make it durable uh, somehow and the best way of doing that was to make whiskey to put it into spirit and that would last you forever yeah so um that's what they're striving to do they are striving to um yeah produce whiskey on their own and they call it the what was it barley to bottle or so they had a, a process for that oh uh malted barley is triple the still da, 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 da. yeah they have it there like i think it was called barley to bottle anyway how they called it is not important but uh the important thing is they want to really control all the the aspects of making the whiskey even from um, the ingredients point of view where other distilleries say it as an ingredient they see they want to grow their own barley for making whiskey and see that as kind of the whiskey making process as well um, it's an Irish single malt uh, whiskey that means it could be in the continuous still but I don't think they do they do triple distillation as it is kind of yeah old style common uh, for for an Irish whiskey. So wh what do they do with it? They have grown it in 2016. It was uh, sown in April 2016 and it is the brand of uh, Olympus. And the farm is called Railway Line and they even give you a location. An elevation of 250 feet, that's not very high, well, probably very high for Ireland. And uh, yes, then they you know, distilled it, triple distilled it, and filled it in first fill Rioja cask. So that's, I think that's a wine, and uh, bottled it in 2020 in fall. And yeah, it it looks really a little bit, a little bit of a a red shine coming through there as well so it has a a nice a nice color with a bit of a a ruby red touch to it hmm relatively fresh and yeah feels like wine with fresh grapes and a lot of red fruit in there. Mm -hmm. Even a bit sweet to it, so it feels like a bit of a, a strawberry touch to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's the very fresh, definite um, influence of the cask. Mm. Mm. Ooh, a very fresh whiskey and even yeah with 50% alcohol and that is a bit of a, a younger whiskey you do feel that freshness also comes a little bit from the alcohol I wouldn't say it's it has no metallic youth but it does have some youth in the glass so you you must be in for a bit of a a fresher touch but the additional uh, the uh, 
additive maturation with the cask and all these nice flavors that come with it that is actually really really nice in there so <clears throat> it's lacking a bit of maturity which i think is on purpose because this wants to be a bit of a a fresh wine grapes strawberries character and not one of these old oaky settled whiskies mm -hmm. It strays a little bit from what you would expect from um, an Irish whiskey. Usually Irish whiskies are so very, very mild. Also matured, I would say, around the 10 years old age and um, very, very, very pleasantly to drink. This one is one that is a little bit of a fresh, uh, even sour note to it that feels like you have a bit of a a wine in there and the maturity aspect and the oak aspect it is there you realize it was in a cast definitely but it's more of a a note on the side a back note of it so yeah it's a young distillery they put out a young whiskey that's to be expected but it's it's a good one i like it for for a new whiskey it's a a nice addition they focused pretty good on the cask but that's not of a a bad move if you're a young distillery distillery mm -hmm. i like it it's a a nice young whiskey and i'm really excited about what they still have in their in their warehouses and what will come out over the next years because this has really potential to be uh, a really great whiskey yeah so that was my take on the Tipperary Irish Single Malt Whiskey. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.